Today, I'm going to demonstrate subtitling in Premiere Pro 2017. To do this, we'll be adding titles to my new breakaway YouTube hit, Shoes. First thing to understand is that there are two types of captions, open and closed. This video is about open captions, which are burned directly into the video. In other words, they can't be turned off, they're always on. Check out my channel for working with closed captions. The first thing to do is to create a new caption object and drop it into the timeline. In the project window, get onto new item, captions. By default, the video settings will be the same settings as your sequence. So go ahead and hit OK. And now you'll see here, you've effectively got two options, open captions or a variety of closed captions. Since we're doing open captions, we'll do open captions and hit OK. Now this has created a caption object which you can drop directly onto your timeline in a new track. Now by default, this is only a couple seconds long, so the first thing we'll want to do is stretch it out to the full length of the video. You'll see there's already one caption here by default. Now the language I'd like to add to this is Spanish. So that app actually happens to be in exactly the right place. Double click on it and the caption window opens. Now I can follow the instructions and type the caption I want. And as you can see, there it is, the very first caption. Now for additional captions, you can just put the playhead where you want. You can see there's the dialogue, so I like caption to begin there. Right click and add caption, and you'll see it, well, it's close, close to where you want it to be. Dragging the handles, I can now make it any length I want. And again, here I go, time to add the second caption. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop in some more captions really quick. Again, right click, add caption. Put it where it's actually supposed to be. So the other way you can do this is to put the playhead where you want and just hit the plus sign. And as you see, it drops, it drops the new one nowhere near where you want it to be. Never mind. This is a fairly long project. I've got quite a few more titles to do, so I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of the titles in. Now, the first thing I want to do is make these captions actually look kind of decent. So I'd like to put a slight glow on this title, and I'd also like to, of course fade out gently to match the the film as that fades out. So the first thing I'll do is, so we can't actually fade the titles out in the caption track. Uh, and we also can't really do anything except maybe adjust the font size. And I think I might add a little bit of a edge color to it. And it's red now. I'll click on the red and then I'll just hit escape. And now it's black again. Okay, so now I've got that, that first title really the way I want it. So I'm just quickly scrolling through to make sure that where we want them to be. Okay. It seems they've all disappeared. So what I'm gonna do now is just go to the caption window and there I can see the attributes. It appears that Adobe has decided that should be 18 points instead of 38, and it should be in the top left corner for some reason. So I'm going to have to go, go ahead and fix that. Now I can see really quickly from the thumbnails, it's done that to, to quite a few titles. It's just randomly put them in the wrong place and size. So I'm going to go ahead and do a, a group select. I'm just going to hold down the shift key, drag and select the ones. Uh, hold down the shift key, click and... Okay, I'm going to hold down the shift key in the captions window and I'm going to... Fuck. Right, so it looks like I'll have to move each clip individually. So, moving on. Now, unfortunately, it looks like there's a little bit of footage that I put in the wrong place. I'm going to need to shift that around. I'm just going to make a little space for it there. Now we can't break the caption track, so I'm just going to lock that. Do an insert edit. As you can see, when I made that edit, all titles following the new clip lost sync. So as you can see, this title should be here, this title should be here, etc. All I have to do now is just group select the clip. Oh. 
Okay, so it looks like I'm going to have to do each one of these individually, which will probably take me the rest of the night. So for the sake of the tutorial, what I'll do instead is let's just go ahead and, and set an out point in the beginning and we'll we'll go ahead and we'll we'll start a render. So I'm hitting command or control M and I'm just going to use the most basic settings, your standard H264. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cue that. Once it loads, and voila, there it is. Okay, so we haven't got any subtitles. Let's go back. I'll try this again. We do Command M, and ah, there's now a captions tab. It's given me a lot of options we didn't have when we set them. Anyway, let's go ahead and cue that. Okay, here we go. We've got it again. Let's see what it looks like. We've still not got any titles. The titles have completely disappeared. Okay, so for the last step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. And in that new layer, I'm going to go to the project window, select title. Again, it's taken the settings from the project, so I can just hit OK. I've created a new title. I'm just going to drop that onto the timeline where I want it. And if I go back to the captions pane, this is the last thing to do. I can just take that caption that I had, select all, copy, and here we go. There's the title I want. Make sure it's centered. Get it the right size. Maybe I'll stick that shadow on it that I wanted before. Give it a tiny little stroke just so it stands out a bit. Drop down the Y position so it's about where it should be, just above title safe. And I wanted to fade out, so I'll do a little fade out. And there we go, proper caption. So now that I've got one caption exactly the way I want it, all I have to do is holding down the Alt key, just drag over to the next position. And this creates a copy of the first one, which is independent. So I can now go ahead and copy and paste the text from the caption window the same way I did with the first one, and continue with the rest of the captions for the film. And unlike the captions created on the caption layer, I can move these captions around independently and in groups. You can add fades to them, you can see them on the screen. They don't tend to jump around or change font size arbitrarily. And best of all, not only do I see them on the screen as I'm editing, but they actually output when I render the file. Last step, just get rid of that captions track, delete it so we never have to see it again. And now I'm just gonna do one final render. Have a look. And there we go, subtitles. Don't forget to check out my new film, Shoes, and check my channel if you want to learn about closed captioning, a way to do multiple language tracks viewable on any digital device.